This video will explain the setup and use of the Flex app for Prep and Print. Before we get started, you will need access to an internet connected computer and the tablet you will be using to run the Flex app. A one time use validation code will be sent to you via email. The validation code is used to get into the website for account setup. Account setup includes adding locations to the account, which creates a unique code for each location. During this process, you will create the username and password for the Flex app to access the food item lists that are managed through the web portal. In addition to creating users for the locations, you will need to assign a food item list that can be accessed by that location through the app. When you launch the app for the first time, it will prompt you for a location code. Use the location code that was created for you on the web portal. The location code is used to link the information from the website, which includes your specific food item lists and organization information, with the Flex app. Use the login credentials that were created for you on the web portal. If you don't have a Flex app credential, you will need to create one from the Prep and Print with Flex web portal. Once you are logged into the app, you are prompted to add a printer. You will need to make sure the printer is plugged in and turned on so the tablet can connect to it via Bluetooth. Make note of the printer serial number on the bottom of the printer and select that to pair with your tablet. Once the printer is connected to the tablet from the settings menu, return to the Flex app. In the Flex app, select Add Printer and find your printer in the list. Once added, you can change the printer name to match your establishment's procedures, or you can leave it with the default name. Be sure to tap Save Printer to keep all your settings in place. Select the Labels button to see the full alphabetical list of your food items. Here you can search for any of your food items from the search bar above the list. If you have multiple categories set up, you can access them by tapping All Categories in the top left. Here you are presented with all the categories that you have set up from the web portal. Once you find the food item label you need to print, you are presented with a print page that includes options for quantity, label template, printer, and with some templates, a field to enter employee initials. An accurate preview of the label you are about to print is on the screen. Tap Print to print out your labels. Batch printing allows you to print large quantities of different labels. If you repeatedly prepare several different items day after day, use the Batch Print function to quickly print all of the various labels at one time. Quantities and printers can be changed within the print dialog for your batch prints. The reprint function is used to reprint labels that you have already printed. If you need to repan an item, use this to print the same label that you had on the original pan. The sync function will immediately pull any new information from the web portal to the app. The app is automatically synchronized each time it is launched, so this may not be necessary. Help will give you information for tech support and link to our online help resources. Inside the Settings menu, you will be able to control specific functions of the app itself. Printer settings allow you to add a new printer or select from printers that are already set up. Food item lists are activated by default, but will allow you to deactivate and activate specific food item lists. Prompt preservation allows you to determine how long the app will save your information. Specifically, your employee initials can be maintained while printing several labels, but automatically will be deleted after the set time for the next employee to enter their initials. Resetting the Flex application will delete all your data from the device, requiring a new setup whenever you launch it again. Log out will log you out, while the About area will tell you information about your account and the app version. This is sometimes needed if you call in for tech support. Your Flex app is now set up to print to your Prep and Print printer.